Today we're gonna to talk about why I think ultralight backpacking just doesn't make sense for most people. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dan. I love hiking and backpacking and gear. If you guys love that stuff too, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So a few months ago, I put out a video called I Quit and it was in reference to how I quit ultralight backpacking. And I was just, you know, kind of throwing out some reasons that I thought were pretty good as to why I don't really need to be ultralight backpacking anymore. It's not like I think ultralight backpacking is bad. I think if you can get there, great. And then I've also talked about in other videos about the different styles of backpacking. You've got the through hiker who should be an ultralight person. That's the guy who hikes miles and miles of trails over several months. They're literally out on trail the entire time getting resupplies at towns or different boxes, that kind of stuff. And their gear dialing it down to an ultralight status is extremely important. And then you've got the section hiker, the guy who wants to complete this through hiking trail. You know, they don't have the same amount of time. They don't have the same amount of luxury. So they're, um, you know, doing it in short sections. And so maybe they take a week at a time, or maybe they take a few days at a time. Um, they're not necessarily resupplying, but you know, they're definitely um, section hiking a large trail. And then you've got pretty much the rest of the world, which is by far the vast majority of people out there. They're the weekend warriors. They're me. They're the people that get out two, maybe three times a year. I'm different. I get out about every four to five, maybe six weeks at most on a backpacking trip. Um, but I do it because this is my hobby. YouTube is my hobby. I enjoy filming myself and I enjoy making videos for you guys. But most people, two, three times a year, if you're lucky, people have vacation time that they gotta use um, with their families. They can't simply do it on backpacking trips all the time. Um, they've got work you know, situations, they've got work obligations, so there's a lot of stuff going on and they just can't do it. Matter of fact, I put out a poll yesterday and the results were exactly what I expected. The vast majority of people that at least watch this channel are weekend warriors. And I would argue that the people that watch YouTube for backpacking, even the through hiking vlogs, the vast majority of people watching them aren't through hikers, they're pretty much weekend warriors. And I love to watch through hikers too. I love to live vicariously through them. I love to watch their daily vlog and kind of see the cool places that they're going to next and you kind of get attached to people's personality. So that's reason number one. Most people are weekend warriors. So if you're the weekend warrior and you're going out two, three times a year, chances are you're going out with your buddies. Chances are you're going out in a group. And most of you guys have a plan to do some awesome epic meal the first night out or uh, maybe you have just all kinds of cool new gear that you want to show people. Maybe you've got the cool camp lights and the flashlights and uh, whatever else you guys are doing when you get to camp. Or maybe you want to share your coolest, you know, new piece of gear while you're hiking and that kind of thing. And so most of you are bringing luxury items. And when you are ultralight backpacking, the pressure to get to a certain base weight is so big that you tend to leave things at home that you probably could have easily brought out on trail and it really wouldn't have made your experience that much worse. As a matter of fact, it probably would have made it better. I mean, we're talking food items, we're talking gear. And I know there's the beer connoisseurs out there. You guys like to bring your craft beer out on the trail the first night. So people are bringing a lot of extra weight that they don't necessarily need to bring, but they're doing it because they enjoy it. Also, finding good locations can sometimes be difficult and you have to travel long distances to get there, which means that you don't necessarily wanna to go to the same place every time. You wanna kinda of change it up throughout the year and you're oftentimes going to different climates. So your gear choices are gonna change, which makes it even more expensive for you because you're having to buy different gear for different locations, for different elevations, for different weather situations, for different seasons. I mean, it gets really expensive. Which leads me to my second point. Ultralight gear is simply too expensive for the weekend warrior. Now look, I get it you can lighten your load for free. I did a whole video pretty much on this topic. It was also an extremely popular video. I will link it right here for you. It will teach you how to lighten your load fast without having to spend hardly any money at all. And there's ways you can do it. You know, you packed your backpack, maybe you should unpack it and rethink a lot of the stuff that you bought. Um, most people pack way too much clothes. Take out a lot of the clothes that you pack. You don't need it. Things like that. So I do understand that there's ways to get your pack weight down. And I'm not advocating that people shouldn't have low pack weights by any means. I definitely think the lower the pack weight, the more comfortable of an experience you're gonna have. But I do think that there's a point where it's just getting silly. You're not a through hiker. 
you're just going out on a trail for the weekend, just bring some stuff that isn't gonna be a big deal. So if I'm gonna hike two, three times a year, I'm gonna buy budget gear. I'm not gonna buy the super expensive stuff. Um, I'm gonna buy things that are good, but I'm not gonna buy things that are gonna be ultra expensive. This isn't what I'm doing for a living. And when you're through hiking, you're essentially doing it as your job. It is what you do for a living. But I totally get it. When I first started backpacking, it was my goal to be as lightweight as possible. I was an ultralighter starting out. Ultralight became a hobby for me. It became an obsession for me. I spent hours on lighterpack.com. I was even the guy that started out on Geargrams, if you guys remember Geargrams.com. And I sorted through all my gear. I was constantly playing with it. I spent tons of time listing all my gear, every weight. I weighed out every one of my items. And I was always trying to mix and match to make my pack weight as low as I could. But I was always finding that there were still items that I was missing every time I went backpacking that I wish I would have brought the last time. And I was kicking myself because I cared more about weight than I did about actually enjoying the experience. And when ultralight becomes a hobby, it becomes something that you spend money on. And if you're willing to do that, that's great. But hobbies, if you guys know you're into a hobby, you've obviously spent a lot of money on whatever you're into. It becomes extremely expensive. And ultralight gear, ultralight gear, Companies know that they can charge a premium for ultralight gear. It is extremely expensive. Weekend warriors, two to three times a year, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's just not worth it. And the third reason why I think ultralight backpacking just doesn't make sense for most people is that most backpackers don't have their gear dialed in yet. Let me tell you what I mean. If I'm a weekend warrior, which is the majority of you guys out there, the chances of me having my gear dialed in like someone who's a through hiker and they're on the trail for their job is gonna be pretty slim. That's why you see through hikers doing those videos at the end of their hike talking about the gear that they brought. It literally took them an entire through hike to get their gear dialed in. I go backpacking, like I said, once a month, once every six weeks. I still don't have my gear completely dialed in. I wish I did, I'm pretty close. I've got my gear dialed in pretty tight, but every time I come back, I take an assessment of all the gear I brought and there's always something that I'm changing out. There's always something that's different. There's always something that I want to fix from the last time that I could just make it a little bit better. And so how many trips is it going to take for you to have your gear dialed in? I don't know. But by then, the weather has changed, the location has changed for your next trip, uh, the climate has changed, the elevation has changed. There's so many different variables to backpacking that you're always making changes. So you really don't have your gear dialed in. So you spent all this money on a, uh, on a really expensive piece of gear um, and now you don't have the money to really change what actually needs to be changed for your next trip. And the number four reason why I think that ultralight backpacking just doesn't make sense anymore for most people is that honestly, I think that most people who say they're ultralight backpacking they're sneaking out those luxury items. They get out on trail and they really just don't care. They're bringing some extra items that um, they know the experience is gonna be better because they brought them. Uh, their base weight, their big three items, their sleep system, their shelter, and their backpack, they've got those pretty much dialed in. They kind of know what they want, but the rest of the stuff, they don't really have completely dialed in and they're kind of playing around with it. And because they've got those big three items kind of dialed in, they can do that. They can kind of mess around with the weight on the other end. And so, they have different items that they can bring out and they just don't care. They wanna have a good experience. And that brings me kinda of to sum everything up by saying this, is that I personally think that backpacking needs to be about the experience more than it needs to be about the gear. Now I get it, you wanna enjoy the gear you bought, you spent a lot of money on it, you wanna test it out, you wanna brag about it, you wanna use it, and we all get that way when we buy new stuff. But why are we really out there? Why are we really out on the trail? What is it we're really trying to do? And every one of us has different answers, but I think it should be less about the gear and more about the experience. All right, guys, if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, which I'm sure tons of you didn't, that's okay. You can go ahead and hit that dislike button, but make sure you subscribe for more and hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I'll see you on the next one.